I am currently at our Iceland Airbnb. It's so beautiful. This is the morning after we just got here. Um, yesterday was check-in day and we were super jet lagged with the time difference. And it's still kind of like lingering, but I feel like I'm finally getting over it a little bit. The first day um, definitely was just after traveling and all of that, just winding down. And I actually booked a whole spa experience for today, which is gonna be super relaxing. Um, it's called the Sky Lagoon but we are about to head out and then I'll go ahead and give you guys a tour um, of this place because it's so beautiful and vlog the rest of the trip. Where are we headed? We're headed to the spa. Woo! Spa day. Look at that, look at that. Oh my God. <laughs> just, can you just film the landscape real quick? Yeah. We were just talking about how like minimalist Iceland is and how beautiful it is as this guy passes me and blocks the shot. <laughs> One of the biggest parts of this whole experience that I really liked was the seven step ritual. The first step is relaxing in the lagoon. So you start the journey off by entering these warm geothermal waters. It's actually such a comfortable temperature, even if the temperature of the outside air is cold. The second step was the cold plunge, which was something that Clay and I were looking forward to. We actually just watched a documentary and we learned that cold plunges are really really good for your overall health so we like to do these just already so having this be part of an experience in a setting like this was really awesome the third part of the ritual is the sauna with a view this is the part that i was most looking forward to i think that this is actually the biggest window that they have in iceland one thing I do have to note is that it was quite busy in this room. I've seen pictures on Instagram. They're mainly always empty, so I was expecting to have a little bit more privacy. Um, I still would have gone knowing this, but I guess just a disclaimer, we went during a weekday, so I didn't expect it to be as busy. The next step was the energizing cold mist. It basically was an open roofed room with cool rock walls and this light mist is like just so refreshing after the sauna especially um it was super quick but kind of one of those things that you don't really think about doing and just gives you a reinvigorating um, sense of coldness and the mist is just so light to the touch and refreshing next step was the sky body scrub basically they give you a cup of this scrub that you apply to yourself and you feel kind of just like overall exfoliation and this gives you a really nice glow which is perfect leading up to the next step which is the steam room so that way you can get all of your pores to open and absorb the therapeutic elements of the ritual and then after this is a shower. This basically is a communal area with a bunch of shower heads just for you to rinse off that scrub and any sweat and all of that after doing it. And then you get the chance to go back to the lagoon, which is great because I feel like this is kind of like you can go to a corner, find your little privacy. There's a swim up bar and a waterfall. Really, really enjoyed this whole seven step ritual, which is optional, but definitely recommend at least the first time. And you can also go here and just enjoy the lagoon by itself. But the other perks like the sauna and the steam room are all part of this ritual, as well as a private changing room. So that is all within the seven step ritual package that we did.
have to film that. Yeah, we will. Oh. You guys will see that coming soon. Step. Seven step process. Seven step process. And the second is the cold plunge. So we're waiting in line to go on the cold plunge. Finishing up the first step of the eight step process. Seven step process. Let's get it. Oh, second step. Just finished up the seven step process. How you feeling, baby? I feel amazing. I feel so soft. <laughs> they had like a sauna room, this huge window, beautiful. We have a whole view of the Atlantic Ocean. And they had to go through this mist room. And then they did this whole body scrub thing. And it exfoliates your entire body. And then we went into I forgot how amazing steam rooms are because your pores just all open up and you have everything that you just put on kind of like soaking your skin and we're buttery soft and then we got out of that we have a cold plunge again and now we're back in the lagoon. And, so, and we just grabbed some martinis as well. Yeah. Pretty good. Check out this waterfall behind us. Cheers to an amazing first day in Iceland. Cheers to that.
the unbelievable, the indescribable. Lane <laughs> <Lincoln> Brown. <laughs> Your legs look really good, babe. <laughs> Who wore it best, you guys? Who wore it best? <laughs> I'm like on my tippy toes. <laughs> I can tell. I'm like, how tall do I look? <laughs> <laughs> Is it at least the moon boot brand? Yeah. Oh, yeah, right, yeah. Those are moon boots, baby. Wait, you gotta complete the fit. Did you have these on? I did. What else? You were like an all white. Right? Yeah. Shut off for now. <laughs> no, it's fine. Are you doing your like looking out the window? Other way. My good side. Yeah, like that. Perfect. <laughs> nice wave. <laughs> are they comfy at least? You know, they actually are. They How small they are. <laughs> and the fact that <laughs> Is that your heel? In the middle? Right here. Oh my yes. gosh. <laughs> yes, correct. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Everyone, don't mind this mess. I swear, it's usually clean. I'm just packing my stuff up. It's just like a tornado went through this room right now. So don't mind that. Are those less comfy? Uh, I'm like standing on my, on my toes. <laughs> All right, so you were like this way and then I think you're looking like that. Yes. Okay. Let me see the photo again. Okay. <laughs> yes, just like that. Wait, um, but like this with your body, like right side a little bit more back. <laughs> All right, guys, I wanted to show you a tour and this Airbnb has been an amazing experience. Hello, Leva. We are about to check out. Are you ready to say bye? I'm ready. Yeah, this trip has been great. We've stayed here for eight days. <laughs> um, Clay is loading up the car right now because we have a flight to catch shortly. We're gonna stop to eat at one of our favorite spots nearby for one last traditional Icelandic meal of lamb and cod. And I wanted to show you guys the Airbnb we stayed at, do a full tour before we headed out. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so when you first pull up, this is the outside, and it's actually starting to snow, which it hasn't snowed at all this entire time, so, um, but it's been pretty cold. And these are the mountains right nearby, and there's two separate houses connected, so let's go to the front entrance here. Oh, it's cold! <laughs> but yeah, it's so pretty. So this is the front door. Let's close this. Cold. How's that Icelandic water? So cold, so refreshing. Best part about the trip. It's the best, the absolute best water. Um, but yeah, so this is the bigger house connected by this hallway to a smaller house, which will start here. Um, it has its own kitchenette, and this whole entire Airbnb has the most beautiful floor to ceiling windows that just show off this amazing view. And at night you can watch the stars and we were able to see the Northern Lights one night. So that was absolutely magnificent. And it's just super private, which is what we were looking forward to staying here, is having just an amazing view and a sense of peace and serenity and privacy. And then each house has its own individual beds. And the reviews were saying this is the perfect place for two couples to stay together. That way you have your own kind of private quarters, but the bigger main house might be like the communal area. 
but you're still able to like make your you know coffee or whatever on both sides this kitchenette is smaller that's more of like the full-size kitchen but they're both fully equipped with plates and um, diner dinerware dinnerware yeah dinnerware and also their own bathrooms so this is the first bathroom it's slightly smaller but I love the I love the shower head because it's like one of those rainfall ones or rainwater ones. Um, so yeah. And the overall design of this place I think is just so simple and beautiful. It gives more attention to the windows than anything. It's just sleek, but somehow still cozy with the wood paneling. And also these floors are heated. I've never had heated floors in any of my places and I've honestly, it's like a game changer if you live in a colder area, just waking up and the floor is warm and it kind of radiates the heat all throughout. So this entire time I forget how cold it is outside when we're inside because it's just so cozy. And yeah, I just love this flooring so much. I definitely would love to have this in a future home. Um, the temperature here has been pretty similar to Seattle. So I know the feeling of like waking up and just walking across a cold floor. So I definitely really like that about this Airbnb. All right, so as I was talking, I walked through this middle area into the bigger house. So this is what it looks like. Once again, that view, there's a huge deck that just kind of wraps around the entire Airbnb. And one of the nights that I mentioned we had Northern Lights, I actually went out here and just laid out and had like pizza and just enjoyed the sky. And I was wrapped up and bundled, so I wasn't too cold. And right now the tide is actually out. So sometimes it's, the water's all the way up here and you can see like waves and other times it goes pretty far out. So that's really cool to see throughout the day. One of my favorite parts is definitely the kitchen. I love the black. I've never really been a huge fan of darker colors in kitchens until recently. And then staying here kind of confirmed that for me. I just love the contrast so much of the, like everything else with the black. I think it's just super cozy and sleek and just really clean and simple. And these windows definitely kind of complement that black with the darker mountains outside and the brightness of the sky also in contrast is beautiful. So yeah, like I said, these floor to ceiling windows are all throughout and the water here is absolutely amazing. It just tastes so clean, it's so cold and actually in Iceland, you can drink from like any tap and it's the same quality as like their really, really good bottled water. We were at a gas station and we bought a bottled water because we didn't have like a container and we were on a long drive and the guy was like, just so you know, like you can literally fill any bottle up with any tap water and it's the same thing as buying this bottle. So like, just so you know the future. So kind of cool. Um, and I am really picky about my water. In Washington, we have really good water too from the mountains. And so when I travel, I do notice the difference. Um, and I've never been anywhere with like better tasting water than Washington. So this has been really cool to experience firsthand because I, I think the quality of water is just like, it's just like a quality of life thing too. And the air is just so clean. Everything just feels so nice and refreshing. And like the showers feel so good too. Um, but yeah, so. This is the kitchen and I love that they have a Nespresso machine for us. And like the fridge is right here. The dishwasher is built in. Kind of reminds me of my apartment, how um, the dishwasher is like seamlessly put into the cabinetry, which I really, really like. And I love it when they do that with fridges and like freezers as well. And these are pull out. I thought this was kind of cool. How they had a silverware separate drawer built into that. And then moving on to the 
bigger bedroom. This is the view, absolutely stunning. And the bed, and then that's like wardrobe space for you to hang your clothes or if you want extra towels, there's a lot of towels, um, so we never ran out. And there's also another bathroom here. Don't mind our pile right there that we accumulated, but there's a washer, which was really nice. And um, there's no dryer, so we had to hang dry our clothes, but that was fine since the whole place has heated floors. It just radiates, like I said, heat. So um, anything wet dries pretty fast. And the shower is also like another rainfall shower head. And that little peekaboo window with that view is really, really cool too. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this tour. I think we're heading out here and this might be right in the vlog as well. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found today's video to be helpful in any way. Let me know in the comments if you've ever been to Iceland, want to go to Iceland or your favorite part of this video. And I, I said, I've been traveling a lot and I'm going to continue to be traveling. So I'd love to do more vlogs like this and also like share my itineraries for suggestions for things to do in places that you might be thinking about going in the future. I would love to be your online tour guide um, because I know traveling is so exciting, but the planning process can be a little bit daunting um, and time consuming. So if I can help in any way, I would love to do that because I really, really enjoy both parts of that process. So yeah, thank you so much for watching today's video. Be sure to subscribe if you aren't already and also turn on your notifications so that way you know every time I upload a video, I'll be uploading on a weekly basis for you guys to be um, keeping an eye out for that. And feel free to check out my other socials below if you're interested and go ahead and give me a follow. But yeah, that's it. And I hope that you're having a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Love you, bye.